There are some weird, weird people at Twitch, man. I think because they run a site which has a lot of women on who are very popular, yeah. I think that they think because they're in that position of power, they can use that to get to them. She is genuinely the worst witch I have ever seen. Diagnosed her mental state as, <laughs> as in brackets, by the way, this is in like an actual lawsuit, as nutty. <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah. You called her nutty? I called her, I think I called her like a nutty geese or something. So, Andy, that is sick. Yeah, you are. That's... Andy, you are. You cannot joke about that sort of thing. The reality is, is this this is apparently somebody high up in the social media yeah, space. Yeah, it's the most like poorly executed case of trying to take advantage of people I've yeah. ever seen. Good evening from the Buddies Podcast News Station. Today I'm here with my co-host Peter Griffin. Yeah. How are you doing today, Peter Griffin? Yeah, I'm pretty good, mate. <laughs> um... T today on the spit buddy. It out, mate. Spit it out. Uh, have you ever heard of the Beast of the East? I have heard of the Beast of the East. We just, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it to get out there. We recorded a really funny intro. And honestly, let's just cut it. And we're going to right now with this introduction show you our introduction for the first five minutes. And then we're just going to cut back because I think yeah. there was some funny content there, and you guys deserve to see it. Actually, uh, ignore everything that I just said because somebody, I don't know who, I don't know who, but somebody apparently accidentally. Deleted the footage. I, I don't know who did it, but if, if you know who did it, please contact me. Business email is down below. You've just seen <laughs> the introduction <laughs> to something, which I thought would be uh, worth... It was a better intro. We tried to redo the intro, but sometimes you can't re repeat masterful, yeah. masterful content. But either way, welcome back to uh, whatever episode this is. Of welcome the back. Podcast. We have actually got some topics to discuss yes, today. But... Um, we, we said it in the, la in, in, the, in the original recording, but we, we need to apologize for whatever last week was. That was just a complete and utter state. I'd say it was unprofessional. Uh, it was scandalous. Yeah, it and, shouldn't ever be uploaded to YouTube. And I genuinely do um, apologize on behalf of me, my family, and also to my dad. I am sorry that this man continues on a daily basis to speak about sodomizing you. I come to Fraser's flat. I bully him and I go home. I do have to say, my dad is fine with these jokes. Because I do think sometimes people must think, because even I think it sometimes, when we say certain things on this podcast, are the people that they speak about uh, comfortable with this? You'll know they're not when we bleep their names out. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope I never have to see your dad. <laughs> my, my dad will look... My, yeah, to be fair. Um, uh, mate. I won't be able to look him in the eye. <laughs> I mean, mate, Especially after uh, last night. No, uh, mate. I don't, think, I, I don't think he would be able to look you both in the eyes because they're not really functioning correctly right now. No. So we have got a lot of things to talk about today. For once, we are actually going to be structured. And we did have a segment which we spoke about. And we did do a really good bit. But because uh, we lost the footage, we're going to do it again. But instead of a sandwich, it's going to be about a burger. Because basically, Aiden, I've got you a question. If you had to create a burger for the person that you truly detest in this world, like you just, you just don't like this person. There is, there is, there can be an, in, like a, just a plenty amount of reasons to why you don't like him. Put him in your head, invent yeah. him. Maybe he, he noshed off your your cat or something. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to create them a burger, and they think they're getting a blim blim and nice weather spoons microwave cheeseburger but what they've actually got is whatever horrific things you've put into this burger so what would you put in there um listerine yeah listerine yeah because listerine is mouthwash right and it really hurts your mouth when you use it what about like more deadly things asbestos <laughs> like an asbestos I'll put burger. an asbestos in a burger <laughs> this how would you even do that what what put actually, a bit of insulation i in was there. actually <laughs> speaking to Kirst about this what even is asbestos is it just like a... i think it's like nodules of like deadly air well, and you... but i think it like if it goes in your system it just kills you okay maybe that no, i don't know what this guy's done to i need me. it to be a bit more like instantaneous and okay. slapstick all right maybe like a pot noodle that is only like very slightly undercooked mate i'm sorry <laughs> but but we, we gotta talk about the fact that when we first did this and aiden, aiden did a sandwich and in this sandwich i want to detail the things that he he said that in the sandwich he's not only going to put the person's mother's breast milk in it but he also said he's going to put their father's testicles into it yeah. and he said he's going to go on a dorally explorer adventure with who who with, who is it who? Uh, danny dyer with dressed Dan in latex <laughs> and, and he um, was gonna be wearing like a polka dot outfit or something yeah and he you were telling me all these things about how you're going to go on a hunt and Danny Dyer's going to be like, my name's Danny Dyer and today we're hunting down somebody's mum's breast yeah, milk. Yeah, I'll be like, we're squeezing the milk because <laughs> we're getting the semi-skim. And you've gone from that to, well, I'm just going to put some Listerine in there. Yeah. What's happened? You've been silenced, mate. You've been silenced by the liberal media. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know what? You, you can't get away with saying too much nowadays. I'll tell you what else I'd put in there. Yeah. Cleveland Brown's moustache. <laughs> 
mate, that is, a, that is an object which no human being has ever done a crime like worthy enough to touch that shit. Uh, and John, Joe Swanson's wheelchair. <laughs> Joe, what? <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, hundred club Ronaldo match attacks. You, you are one sick bastard. How would you even fit that into a? So you've got a fucking wheelchair. You're gonna have to like compress it. And you know, like you could, like if you put some at the bottom of the ocean, it like compresses into a cube. You're gonna have to do that. So you've got like a little into a cube. Yeah, man. If you if you if you put like a ship at the bottom of the ocean, that will compress into like a really small object because of the amount of pressure under there. That sounds sick. Yeah. So you're gonna put you're gonna put Joe Swanson's wheelchair in there. Yeah. Maybe Joe Swanson. Yeah. I'm just gonna go. His legs uh, aren't doing anything. Yeah. Hang on. I'll make you. I've just got to go to the bottom of the ocean. And you're going to serve this up for them, and they're going to see that, and they're going to be like, mate, I am not eating that, because that, I'm pretty sure that is my good pal, Joe Swanson's wheelchair. Yeah, and they'll turn around, Joe Swanson will just be there, laid on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking crawling. <laughs> uh, okay. And then Cleveland Brown will look in the mirror, realise he hasn't got his moustache, and go, oh no! We should move on to the topics, anyway, because, um, yeah, we've played them a five-minute intro, we've, we've, we've lubed them up, we've got them all... Yeah. No, I shouldn't say that, there's probably a lot of... <laughs> there's probably a lot of... I did a video the other week speaking about somebody who was like an insane psychic on TikTok and I thought nothing of it. Pretty much as a premise, you've, you've known about this. Yeah. This person is, they're called Ashley and on TikTok, what they do is they get tarot cards and they speak about actual murders, like actual true crime events, horrific events, and they determine who the murderer is in those events. You have, um, the way you said insane psychic TikTok, it makes them sound like they're incredible at what they do. Oh, oh, when no. When they're not, they're just um, Mate, they vile. Are just, they, are, <laughs> they, they are absolutely batshit. And we'll play a few of them in a bit, but the main reason I want to speak about this, because we were going to speak about the other week, we just never got around to it. But recently, I discovered that I have been mentioned in like a high class lawsuit and I keep getting messages being like Fraser you're being sued can you please speak about it uh, it's always getting sued aren't you I'd like to clarify I'm actually in this case not being sued so pretty much the person who she accused of this murder so let me read out what actually happens yeah so pretty much there were multiple students murdered in the Idaho murder case and she accused one person of murder some some random woman and then she accused one of the victim's ex-boyfriends of being complicit in the murder and planning the entire thing and pretty much obviously one of them took this woman to court because you can't just go around being like, oh, you're the murderer in this horrific case. Yeah, they, they were like, mate, that's not on. You can't say that. Yeah, and they were, because they, she got like a million view TikToks and stuff. I mean, yeah. it's pretty fucking mental. What's more mental is I bet there's some people watching that that went, Wow. Oh, how'd, she, how'd she get that? Yeah. No, I, 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 I think it's almost like insane that any... It's like a form of content that anybody consumes. Because we've kind of spoken about true crime content uh, quite a bit on here. We went through when people were, like, contacting the dead. And they were, like, clearly getting, like, their grandson or some shit to do a little creepy voice yeah. down the microphone. Like, yeah, today you're going to pretend to be the queen. <laughs> oh, it's, it's me. Hello, Derek. <laughs> and then uh, you get, like, comments being like, wow, this really changed my life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, what the yeah. fuck, man? Yeah, it's like, I, I was just not got more views. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it probably has like a million views there's a little messed up thing about this like true crime content it's yeah. like these people do this and it gets views because there's some people out there that think that I don't know Derek from fucking Texas has got in contact with Michael Jackson <laughs> it really upset me that this is how people make quite a good living <laughs> yeah uh, and her TikTok is like actually quite popular and, yeah. and pretty much she got took to court about this and I was mentioned in like the counter of it where it says YouTube personality iNabba who has 933,000 subscribers is actually 946,000 that's a humble brag on the pod St stated in a video published tiktok's worst psychic ruined the life of an innocent woman the idaho murders diagnosed ashley gillard the tiktok psychic diagnosed her mental state as <laughs> as in brackets by the way this is in like an actual lawsuit as nutty <laughs> is that what you said yeah. you called her nutty i called her i think mean, i called her like a nutty geese or something so, someone's just like gone out and like just made up that this person's a murderer and you've just called them nutty yeah but <laughs> <laughs> it goes he it he said diagnosed her mental state as nutty i don't think nutty is a mental illness nutty is what i call when i see someone doing like a shoey or like, something like that nutty is what i would call your own mother and he goes, and he has falsely accused her of ruining an innocent woman's life, assumingly Rebecca Schofield, that's the main person who's been accused, and yeah. suggested that Ashley Gillard should lose her freedom of speech. I said that she should be banned on TikTok or something like that. And I don't care what anybody says. Having a TikTok account isn't a freedom of speech right. It's a private platform. You can still yeah. go around saying your stupid tarot cards did this and did that. Yeah, I, I really am fed up of the right wing uh, not knowing what freedom of speech Mate, actually is. I don't, think she's, I don't know if she's right wing. I can't say that to be fair. I'm tired of people not knowing what <laughs> what freedom of speech is. Because yeah. it doesn't just mean that you can 
go around saying what you want. I mean, just imagine, like, you could do this with fucking anybody. And the thing is, is she hasn't done this just as one person. I've pulled up multiple cases that she's done. There was a rapper that was killed a few months ago. Uh, he was murdered. He, his guy called Takeoff. And she randomly accused, like, a guy called Offset of doing it. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure Offset collaborated with KSI or something. <laughs> I, I don't think he's got time to be murdering somebody. So there was another case. He hasn't of- got time to be killing people. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was, that was, that's my defense of, of Offset. But imagine, imagine being in court, right? Yeah. And you're up for murder and I'm gone. Well, it couldn't have been me. <laughs> I was collabing with I work at 9 till 5. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was another one called uh, Shaquilla Robinson. She mysteriously had like a, a severe spinal cord injury before her death. And she tried to claim that the death was actually self-inflicted despite being no evidence. Although Shaquilla Robinson was badly beaten, her death was caused by a prescription. Do you know what's quite funny? I imagine she wakes up every day, reads out her tarot cards and goes... Oh, I'm in for an absolute stinker today. <laughs> like, Mate, it's genuinely like such a mesmerizing way to like live your life. Yeah, like, you wait in. It's like she's the type of person. So like she gets like she's like in a relationship like ten years. Somebody proposes to her. She's like, hold up, mate. She get she fucking whips out the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and consults them. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just hilarious that mate. She's like fully like no like again like I, I if you're interested in like the tarot card stuff, that's perfectly fine if you're not like falsely accusing people of murder. But it's just to, <laughs> it's just like when you see somebody who's got them fucking laid out like she is about to have a Yu-Gi-Oh battle or some yeah, shit. she is genuinely the worst witch I have ever seen. Is she a witch? Is that what she is? I don't know, that's what they do, isn't it? I, is no, it I, witchcraft reading out tarot cards? And... I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't claim to know any witches. If we've got any witches, let us know down below your if witch If you're a witch, law. just let me know. Yeah. Not, only if you're not the wicked witch of the West. But either way, I, I feel like TikTok is kind of like really kind of brutalizing people's brains at this point. I deleted the app out of like pure frustration the other day. Is I, it because could you physically feel your brain melting? Mate, I was no, it? genuinely, I was on the toilet and I was scrolling through TikTok and I just had a moment of realization. I was like, this is just so, so unbelievably pointless. I am watching like snapshot eye compilations of him just on a live stream. I'm like, what am I even fucking doing with my life at this point? I'm scrolling yeah. and then there's like some uh, uh, just content, stupid content, which it doesn't even affect, like at least on YouTube, there is like some level of like something, there's some substance. I can remember watching a YouTube video, but like 9%, 9% 90% of TikToks I watch, I cannot remember. Do you not remember me doing the Club Penguin dance? Oh, I can remember. I can remember you going around Lost Off Town as Spider Man, just saving, saving the good, the good folk of the world. And that's why you should keep TikTok, my friends. Yeah, uh, but to be fair, I should, um, the problem was, was I shortly reinstalled it like four days later. Did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a genuine mental illness because my problem is, is like as this is my job, I have to like I have to have these apps to see what's going on in the world. Mate, that is such an awful excuse to mate. No, it's sit, not. Sit it's on the not. loo, I, sit on the loo, park a turd, and watch t- scroll through TikTok going yep i'm working mate I, i'm sorry but it, it, it's a really fucking sad life when sitting on the toilet squeezing out a big cleveland steamer and watching snapshot eyes at part of my job that is yeah. guess like oh you had a hard day at work yeah i just sat on the loo all day scrolling through tiktok what are you talking about? It's what I do, mate. It's what he's what he does. <laughs> uh, another day, another dollar. Yeah, um, but to be fair, I was kind of scared when I found out about this lawsuit because, like, naturally, it does kind of like spook you out a little bit. I'm not actually sure why I was mentioned. I know a few other content creators were too who deemed her as one. The big... judge was a big nabs fan. Yeah, maybe she was. She uh, well, <laughs> actually, this could move on to something. Um, I found out that. Um, Actually, we'll get into that further. We should probably finish up what we're doing here because yeah, yeah. we're going to derail. We're, we are determined not to derail today. But either way, with with this thing, I am more just kind of like, f- for one, it's it's just kind of obscene that this person apparently. I think she's fled the country now really? or something. I saw some like things saying that she's le- running away from the court case or something. I don't know. If that's actually well, true. I know what actually happened there. What? She um, accidentally got a tarot cards mixed up with her um, airplane top trumps, <laughs> and <laughs> she pulled she pulled a big cargo plane i yeah. don't know what you call them yeah. she pulled a big like jumbo jet and she was like <laughs> i was just like oh fuck i'll go she just ends up in like fucking nagasaki or something yeah. <laughs> she, no no one minute she's in like ukrainian no no one minute she's in the u.s court the next minute she's in like ukraine or something yeah. <laughs> she's like tarot cards consult will be to be here she goes up to vlad and goes up to um what's it what's his name zielinski she shows them the cards and she's like this says you need to stop the war now and yeah. everything, and everything goes into peace putin you're fucked mate <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we should consult so can can somebody if you do do tarot cards do a reading for us and let us know in the comment section what what our aura says to you what, what is my future I need uh, it's, to it's not looking good mate, because, mate i've been on a downward trajectory for a good few years now uh, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you i think you're doing good you got you got a promotion recently didn't you or something i've applied for a promotion oh yeah, that, okay there is a strong difference there but I'll, I'll tell you how 
um, pathetic I am as a person at the moment. Oh, you don't need the, to. Sorry, sorry. The, <laughs> the, right, sorry, the, no. the, back, of my I, ear, I it, the I, back of my ear bar fell out about a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't bothered to get it replaced, so it's just there. What, what like, is, with is no just, ball on the Is it end. just hovering in your ear? Yeah, it's just like sitting in my ear. But because like when I got the the pit, this isn't very interesting. No, when I got, on, the, when on, I got the piercing carry done, on. the back of my ear got infected a couple times because I was a silly boy and I didn't know how to look after it. Yeah, and luckily it's so infected that like <laughs> Jesus, that like the lump is like keeping it a hold. <laughs> Have you ever <laughs> thought about just fucking getting a grip? <laughs> just fucking doing doing something for yourself, my friend. <laughs> just Mate, just, self care is not mate, in my mate, name. Just have a shower. Just do something <laughs> I, I don't know. Something that is <laughs> something worthwhile. George has been getting on to me recently because I keep forgetting to squeegee in the shower. What? What do you mean squeegee? squeegee. What, what's a squeegee? Well, we've got a walk-in shower, and like you have to squeegee the door. Otherwise, well, not it's not door. It's, you know the walls. So otherwise, what is a squeegee? You just get like water marks all over it. But can you like what well, squeeze? You're squeezing it. No, it's a squeegee. What's a squeegee? It's a. It's just a stick with a big black line thing. You just do that. It's a bit like a. Oh, so like you're stopping like the condensation and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. What you don't do it? No. Well, I did today because I. She I'm reminded me. So proud. Yeah. I am proud of you for getting finally squeegee in the shower. Yeah. yeah. So you say I don't shower, mate. I shower so much. I forget to squeegee to shower. So <laughs> much. Squeegee shower. is such a messed up word. Yeah. I feel like that's something that Mike Wazowski would do. <laughs> Mike Wazowski would squeegee all over. Some, oh. Yeah. No, Mike Wazowski's squeegee. He uh, is messed up. Like that. That geezer is just one big walking eyeball. Yeah. yeah it's, it's quite a fucking disgusting, <laughs> disgusting concept. The the whole um, Monsters Inc. universe is just truly a travesty. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that is it's quite scary, actually, Mike Wazowski, isn't it? Because <laughs> he, he, he's clearly got like some severe like rooted issues because he's like, <laughs> mate, he's like. Like a forty-year-old walking around acting like a goofy little six-year-old. Mate, some, Solly just needs to give him a smack and say, "Sort yeah. yourself out, fella." Solly's got fucking like leprosy. He's got like, these. <laughs> he's got these like. <laughs> he's got leprosy. these. He's got these like purple dots, and the entire first movie <laughs> is just about them kip, kidnapping a three-year-old. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, "Oh, I actually fucking like this kid. I'm gonna take her home for myself." It's like, yeah. no, no, Mike, you can't fucking do that. You leave Boo alone, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> no, it's not, it's Boo. Mate, she's a fucking girl. I said Boo. Oh, Boo. What Boo. An elite name? Boo is an elite chieftain, to be fair. Like she. Yeah. She. <laughs> but Mate, uh, Boo is the glue that holds the Disney Pixar universe together. There is like a kind of sick, messed up thing with the whole, as you say, with like the whole Monsters Inc. like plot line affair. They're just going into kids. Oh, my my mic's gone. Wait, no, it's not. Sorry, that's your mic. Say something. Hello. Ah, sorry, I was, uh, I, I was just joshing with you, I was just joshing with you, I thought I'd gone. Mate, uh, do you remember in the first Monsters, Inc. movie where that guy just pretty much gets slaughtered because there's a sock on his back? <laughs> they just fucking nuke him. Like, <laughs> they they mate, strip mate, him down and just fucking yeah, take they him They see out. the sock and they go, what the fuck is that? <laughs> but but the, the whole process of Monsters, Inc. is they're just kidnapping like a kid and then also to power the universe they're just scaring kids and yeah stuff. they just got around giving kids PTSD yeah, <laughs> it's, like, like, it's kind of it's not really the whole the whole Monsters Inc. universe is just fucking supplied on child abuse mate imagine trying to explain so, to your parents that Mike Wazowski went into your room and went like blah 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 <laughs> and I'm going but our kids are fucking idiots four year old kid just bawling in tears yeah. man so, like, this one eyed freak zoid has just ran into my room and just yeah. screamed at me just slobbery goo's gone everywhere and and then the kid the mum the mum's just staring him in the face and what are you fucking on about although do you reckon the parents are like they have that level of ptsd of where they are now bullying their kid for even thinking that it was a thing because they yeah. themselves have been like molested by mike wazowski sorry hey if they saw mike wazowski if like, i saw mike wazowski i would smack him in the eye yeah the parents they were like oh so you say a monster came into your room it was like yeah 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 oh what did the, the monster look like son uh the green one eye um spoke like a five-year-old well, that's not scary, is it? I don't know, mate. A green one-eyed little freak running. Like, mate, oh, mate, you mate, got... mate, 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 I am going to pull you up a photo of Mike Wazowski right now, and you are going to say to me, this man, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> that is one fucking hour. Look at that eyeball, man. That is one of the, the most messed up things I've ever seen. He's got nice teeth, though, to be fair to him. Where does his um food go where he eats? In his mouth. Yeah, and then what happens? He doesn't have a schlong. I've just noticed that. <laughs> does it just come out of his mouth? And what he needs to be, he's got like that. <laughs> <laughs> every 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 time he he does anything with his wow, he has to do that one noise. Where he's got 
Like that. Do you reckon Mike Wazowski gets bullied for not having a neck? Mate, Mike, Mike Wazowski, he's got little, he's got little <laughs> gay horns. Mate, imagine if we were just heads with legs and arms. <laughs> <laughs> we were just, but we were just doing the pod like normal. <laughs> we should dress up as Mike Wazowski one day, I think. Get a little Mike Wazowski outfit. But he's, I don't, one thing is hard, if sometimes you, is he's... How the hell will you dress up like that? Get a little outfit. He's got little gay horns as well. Maybe they are his penises. People talk about there not being enough gay representation in Disney. Mike Wazowski. Where Mike Wazowski is openly pans. Mate, is he? Uh, yeah. Oh, mate, Mike Wazowski, big gay bastard. Love it. Love it. Fucking love it. Thing is, mate, he must give the best head of all time. Look <laughs> at him. That man is like fucking Sergeant Sloppy Wop. Mate, if he's given head, <laughs> his <laughs> entire body is given mate, he, head. Mate, he's not given head. He's given body. Like, mate, that is, that, he is putting a full workout into he that is, shit. He is head. <laughs> he, is, <laughs> he is the like the fucking embodiment of head. Yeah. Like there, 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 there is like scriptures in like ancient textbooks wrote, wrote, written about Mike Wazowski and the art of, of just head. <laughs> but now uh, he's been lost, uh, lost the time, and he's getting bullied and by yeah. his lep- leprosy freak friend. And he can't wear a scarf. <laughs> Are you sure? Le- what? He can't wear a scarf. He can't get any. Imagine Mike Wazowski in a little suit. No, because he can't. He must be related to a minion, right? No, he is related. Mike Wazowski and a minion, what comes out of that? That is the true question. Max nah, minions have bodies. He doesn't. I mean, yeah, uh, true. They do have a little butt cheek. Does Mike Wazowski have like a little bum slit? <laughs> should, we move, should we move on? Should we move on from I that? I don't know. I'd like to see it, though. Uh, I'm going to type in Mike Wazowski Rule 34 right now. Let's see what comes up. If the FBI find this la- this fucking iPad, I am so truly sorry. I just realised this is all for, um, <laughs> for research purposes. I don't want to show you this. Show me it. I, we can't show you this, but we'll show you the characters that... <laughs> Mate, mate, look at his fucking face. That is, he is loving that. And <laughs> oh, spaff. Mate, he, he's crapping him by the left. So right now, you've got a photo of uh, Olaf and Mike Wazowski. And uh, Mike Wazowski's teeth have randomly really gotten sharp. I don't know if that's the thing that happens during the process. That's what happens when he gets a horn on. Yeah. Um, is he doing it up o- Olaf's... Uh, just, chocolate just, starfish. Or has just, Olaf got just, a? Let's move on. Let's move on. Does Olaf have a fanny? Uh, <laughs> Olaf is a fanny man. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's in the state of that guy. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next part of um, the, all the all the things we've got written down. I think we should uh, have an update. Firstly, has anything happened on Wendy Bonkers Brand in the last week? Anything at all? Uh, you know what? It hasn't. Really? I forgot. You, you the the, the this, one the one thing. I've the got one, one responsibility. Segment. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, I think if we did it every single week, it would it would lose its touch. So yeah, maybe we I should did. make it like a monthly segment. Every uh, every month we have a Wendy Bonkers Brown update. You know what I mean? It's Donna Smith. Donna Smith. Yeah. It's Donna Smith. It just makes me think of Donna Noble from Doctor Who. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe Donna Smith can be the Doctor's next companion. Just <laughs> some, just some old bat. Okay, well, we should actually move on to an actual topic because there was a, a situation recently, which even though we've been all silly, silly and goofy. We should, we're going to speak about something quite serious. I think it can lead to a wider conversation about just the industry in general. About uh, you, I spoke, to, I, I told you to look into like the Pokemon stuff right now, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, to the audience that don't know what's happened, pretty much, it's a really, it's a really, really weird scenario. Because for one, I don't actually know what the the main criminal in this situation gets out of this. So pretty much. This bloke who was in the YouTube, um, Twitch industry, just the, the social media space, he was friends with Pokimane, he worked with Pokimane, but he's been going around the YouTube space, and I'm only laughing because of how fucking obscure it is, he's been going around telling people that he was in a relationship with Pokimane, but he's been using that to get things out of other women in the social media space, but also fans of Pokimane, and he's even been making up fake, fake conversations and creating deep fake images of Pokemon and sending that to other streamers and just fans out there to get things out of them. It's, yeah, it's one bizarre. of the it, it's such a wild story because for one, where what do you even get from that? Like realistically, what the what can come from that of any form of benefit, right? Yeah, he is that is the world's saddest man. Yeah, it, it, it's like 
I could just imagine it, like you do you think that somebody would do some shit like that would be like some sad freaky like reddit nerd who has like a massive neck beard but the reality is is this is apparently somebody high up in the social media yeah, space yeah it's the most like poorly executed case of trying to take advantage of people I've yeah, ever seen I mean what the fuck did he think he was going to get from it it's like genuinely wild like realistically how did you think that this was going to end up well for you like for one Pokimane is Pokimane's like the big doll <laughs> like, yeah, do you know what I mean like she yeah. like uh, she 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 it's like the biggest female streamer i'm pretty sure fair play to her for coming out and speaking about it there's been like conversation about whether she should have dropped the name or not but like there's probably multitude of reasons to you know why what, she could like just from a, a a standpoint of trying to like court someone and get to know someone better yeah to like try and get into a relationship with them or whatever if you got like darker motives like whatever but the um the worst way you can do that is by going Oh, look at this person that I claim to be in a relationship with. Yeah, I don't understand this. He's gone to other girls to, like, get nudes from them by saying, look at my deep fake nudes. I mean, I know he's not yeah. saying the deep fake, he's saying they're legit, but look at my photos of Pokemon. It's like, yeah. what? How how does that even work? This is like the worst plan. Like, can you imagine like going up to like some random girl and being like, "Look at these fucking naked photos of my girlfriend. Do you want yeah. to chat?" Like, it'd it's... be the equivalent of someone messaging me and going, "Ah." Uh, Look at this knob pick Fraser sent me. <laughs> yeah, it's like what? What? How are you even meant to respond to that? But it's also like, how is somebody in the industry doing this? Because this is a guy. He has connections. Like he is somebody who has like gotten them work and brand deals. I imagine from what she was saying. And I'm like, yeah. For one, like. How is he even in this position? It's incredibly place? sketchy, and it's also like you're never gonna get away with doing something like that. It right? almost doesn't feel real. Like obviously, yeah. it is real. Like I'm not doubting the story, but I'm saying like, it's so stupid that it doesn't feel yeah, real. Yeah, when you do behavior like that, scummy, mm. and like you execute it like that badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's just too. It's just insane. And um, I'm not saying fair play if he did it like well, because it is just an awful thing to do. I swear every single week there is like a new thing of this guy took advantage of this person or this person took advantage of this person. And it's like, it's like site wide at this point, but Critical was saying in his video, the video I sent you, he thinks that it's a Twitch person because pretty much the people that run Twitch, not all of them obviously, but there are some weird, weird people at Twitch, man. Like they, they just, I don't know. I, I, I think because they run a site which has a lot of, a lot of women on who are very popular. Yeah. I think that they think because they're in that position of power, they can use that to get to them and like oh I, I i can help pokemon out and maybe she'll like me or something i will say <laughs> not trying to be mean but the, the people that are probably quite high up on twitch and like a lot of people are probably fucking they're, they're, <laughs> they're just like they're like these they're like men that have probably never like spoken to a girl face to face if, if you're mate if you're if you're creating deep like, no, it's not right, but if you're creating deep fakes with somebody to send them to another girl to be like oh do you want to do you want to yeah. do you want a little do you want to see my tush deal like that, yeah. like that 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 is just like not a normal thing to do like i you don't get to know somebody by sending them somebody else's nudes that's a crime if you went and spoke to any of them people face to face i think they'd be struggling big time yeah because yeah. like well, you thing, clearly have no social skills well the whatsoever. thing is they hadn't actually met pokemon that's what she said really? in that video yeah. she was like i've never met this person she was like a he was like a brand person i think that they were like clearly grateful for like he'd done work for them and stuff but it's like you can like deny that there aren't sexism issues in the industry but they clearly are i remember back in like 2020 when streaming was like everyone was streaming because you were locked indoors and stuff i remember just being on stream even like some of my mates were just like if we were playing like among us with other women streamers yeah. they would just like shout over them and just like say say nasty things and shit and it was like you wouldn't do that if it was a dude it's one of them incidents that just leaves a bad taste in your mouth there's no reason that this should have happened and it, it just sort of gives you a really like uneasy feeling that uh, there's people because like there's clearly people out there still doing shit like that yeah and like, it's so site wide as well yeah but it, it's almost like this it's weird because I think people think because YouTube and Twitch isn't Hollywood, it's like the alternative media sort of yeah. thing. They're like, oh, well, Harvey Weinstein esque stuff can't happen on YouTube. But I'm sorry, mate. Like, that, that, it's it's just as right. I for think YouTube. It's, it's more likely because there's like it's so many, regulation. there's just so many vulnerable people in like the online sort of yeah, space. Yeah, the, the, these are people who aren't, they're not, they're not like, they're not media trained. They are, uh, they're literally new to this sort of thing. Like, when you're in Hollywood, most people in that industry have been in that industry, you know what I mean? From yeah. like a kid. I've only been in the YouTube space a few years and everyone has only been in it for a few years so like we, we're all like kind of like babies in this whole thing so like it's very easy to get taken advantage of and we're in comparison to I'm not saying you can't in Hollywood but I'm saying like it's more people are vulnerable in this industry yeah Maybe, I know what you mean they're not like business smart people are they yeah, these, yeah. Are, these are just normal people Mate, do I look business smart to you I am a stupid little no, no you've been walking around the flat with your little bum crack out all day I so. have a big big bum I've got a big tush dude and maybe some no, I, should, I shouldn't make jokes that look like this um 
yeah it, it's quite just a wild thing and yeah as i was saying it just it's just this wider site issue of just as you were saying like people aren't bi business privy and i'm not blaming anybody here by the way i'm just saying like it's more rife in this community because yeah it's easier are... to be taken advantage of is what, what you're saying yeah, yeah yeah and there's most people in this community are young there aren't many 40 year olds that are yeah. leading the game sort of thing the main streamers are like in their mid-20s or even in their early 20s or even teenagers still yeah but even so if you're spending hours a day streaming or even like the fans where you're watching streams all day yeah you're gonna be open to a lot of weirdos you know yeah, yeah. watching your but stuff you, and getting in contact but with you've people. also got to think this dude is like a high up and he's been off he's clearly like in the money like in the money like he can get people deals and stuff as i was saying you're young you're coming into a new industry you're also getting offered a lot of money yeah. this is the thing when i came into youtube you don't realize that there is a lot of money in the industry and when you've got these people especially i imagine in that industry like pokemon and stuff they're probably getting offered crazy deals and i think these people think because they're doing that, offering these deals and stuff, that they can take advantage. No, exactly. I don't think it's a... It's, it's entitlement. I don't think it's a case of money and power even corrupting you. I just think you're already corrupt. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now you've got, like, money and power you're in a better position to like do what you want to do and like commit these heinous acts yeah right? yeah again this keeps on happening like i swear every like every month or so there is like another story of like this twitch employee did this and i know it's not come out as a twitch employee but given the fact that critical said he thinks it's a twitch employee i'm like kind of led to believe it is because that man knows people you know what i mean he's been yeah he's been around for time he is one of like the people who are actually experienced in the industry to be fair to him but um uh, I, I don't know there is just like it is quite sickening how people are still treated like this and there was that other scan I don't know if you saw it the other week there was the deep fake scandal with that streamer making deep fakes of his mates and stuff like paying but it's like so yeah no I, I did up. see that that was that was awful to be fair mate, mate, was... what, like, what the fuck what is going on over at Twitch people can say YouTube is mental but Jesus Christ man over on Twitch it's like a different ball game people yeah. like I feel bad like Pokemon gets a lot of heat and, and I I think a lot of it is actually quite unjustified. There's things which I've disagreed with and stuff, but like the level of shit she gets in comparison to people that truly deserve shit I, is insane. I don't think some people realise how awful it is for like deep fakes to exist of Mate, people. It is because that is it's se it is sexual assault. I don't care what anybody is, says. It is. It, is on it is online. It's a new form of sexual assault and. Mate, the fact that there aren't more laws around, I guess it's because it's a new technology, yeah. but next three months, guarantee you, new AI laws are going to come in. They're going to be banning the voice stuff. They're going to be banning so much stuff, and it needs to happen because it's actually getting quite jarring, even for me. You can go, you can now uh, take a video of somebody, put it into like a generator, pay a little fee, uh, like $5 fee, and then it will like make an AI voice of you or me. Like if they submitted our podcast, they could a replicate us saying, anything yeah and it sounds legit man and that's Absolutely. terrifying yeah i mean it's only gonna get worse yeah because this is this technology has only really came out came about in like the last six months and it, every single day mate on my, my tiktok feed is good i mean to be fair as much as I, I i hate it it's some of it's quite funny i've got like joe biden barack obama and donald trump playing like minecraft together and shit with like ai deep fake voices and it's like that is hilarious but obviously it it's can be dangerous though, yeah it's, it? it's, it's, very it's dangerous. such it's such a dangerous technology it's not only with that cutie cinderella situation it's also with Pokemon, because this guy's doing the exact same thing. It also, like, blurs the lines between what's real and what's fake to the point where, like... AI is... Like, it's it's, it's going to be at the point where like courts and like finding people guilty of stuff is going to end up being near enough possible impossible in some cases i think that ai is genuinely like as somebody that literally i've i studied it in my degree like, i have like an actual like some level of qualification in artificial intelligence even compared to back then a few years ago to where it is now is genuinely insane yeah and there's like i can't remember the name of the law but in like computing there's a certain law where it's like um the, like the process it's something like the pro the amount of like um units and like a processor doubles every certain amount of years or something i think it's called moore's law i think I, if, you, if you know computer science you know what i'm talking about but it seems like even that's being applied to comp uh, to ai of where ai is just excelling every single yeah. day because it's like you've got the building foundations now so now you can just keep leveling up and leveling up and it's like yeah. get into this terrifying thing and it, it's like now deep fake stuff is getting into video of like actual like adult content which i i still don't get how this isn't illegal do you remember what did it used to be called it was a bit like AI back in the day used to be so primitive where you'd just like yeah, have yeah, a conversation yeah. with a bot and like half the time you wouldn't even be able to have like a coherent conversation. Yeah, yeah, it was like it. a meme. It's that fucking yeah. talking to talking Tom or something. The yeah, cat, the yeah. Cat. but now it's like to the point where you genuinely don't know if what you're watching 
is true or not yeah and now you've you've got even things like chat gbt which has been dubbed as a good thing but people are like so people are using it to like get their work done and stuff and help their work but i'm like mate eventually that shit is just going to replace you like yeah well god i'm lucky to be in a job where i think that, i think that an ai can't replace what i do because i think a lot of it is like personality based and you come for a person to talk about things right yeah well that's the thing where like people are finding it really cool that like ai can make songs and art and stuff mate, i saw that like... ai made anime recently yeah. and it looked fucking shit shit like but even looked, if it looked great there's nothing impressive about that because you want to yeah, the whole point of these are like they're people putting passion into things that they believe they're good at and i hate to sound like a boomer but like it is so unbelievably soulless like there there's never going to be a case of where ai can replicate like soul just like the personality of humans and stuff i know the technology is going to get better and there's going to be a few virgins that come on this be like oh well, it's, it's still cool though isn't it it's like mate it's not it's just it's just fucking weird like yeah it's just and again it's also a never excuse for people to pay their employees less as well because they eventually they'll just be like oh i can just get ai to do it for free and it's like oh well fuck you it's, know what i mean it's just like there's gonna be like an actual rebellion against ai i'm genuinely convinced. it gets to the point where people have no personality whatsoever because all the content that they consume has been made by nobody it's actually like a really sad depressing world and all those like dystopian movies from like like 20 years ago are kind of actually yeah. like starting to get to like a really freaky place it's a bit like when you find like sad old men that like fall in love with their like sex dolls and stuff well like, there's that replica ai thing Have yeah that? Replica, that is mad mate, they took out the uh, naughty chat function and it is did like, they yeah and people are not happy about mate, it i was gonna make a whole video about it like i i, I started writing a script about yeah, it yeah it's stuff. really funny because they're like I-, I want to undress you and then yeah, 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 and yeah. then and then the like replica bot is like let's talk about something else well, I, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah 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 it's so su- it's such a weird thing man but um, imagine getting rejected like that by... in real life <laughs> <laughs> oh let, let's get down and dirty uh do a cup of tea <laughs> is, like... is that way is that what it does now <laughs> no, it just says let's talk about something else jesus i mean but yeah as we were saying with like the whole conversation today is that like, ai is in like a, a horrific creepy stage right now and it's only going to get worse and like with the streamer stuff it's another case of it like man oh, it's just scary. yeah because it's so unregulated at the moment people yeah. can like do some bad things with it yeah like, and I, I hope to god like i'm not i'm not somebody that usually is like desperate for the law to clamp down but man this is different territory they need yeah. to clamp down on it because this is like it's replicating human actions about humans actually doing them in terms of like fucking and adult content and saying things and stuff man like yeah. it's gonna get to a point of where streamer is gonna get cancelled for saying a bad word that they didn't even say do you know what i mean yeah yeah definitely uh, but yeah we'll just wrap that up by saying it's again to, to the pokemon and the cutie cinderella stuff just absolutely horrific to, for a multitude of obvious reasons as sick as it as it gets yeah but uh do you know what is sick <laughs> i Mike head no no i have done it again i have i and i'm I, we are bringing it up I have started not only watching, but also reading Harry Potter again. And I, I did see you were watching The Philosopher's Stone. The mate, these movies genuinely tickle my little pickle. Can you not just watch something else? No, no, I can't. I even went, because I, I got bought tickets to, for some, uh, I, for Christmas I got bought um, tickets to go to Warner Bros. Studios. I went, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I saw Dobby, <laughs> mate, mate, Do- when you go into, because you can go into their house and Dobby is like on his knees and I can't help but fucking laugh. Do- really? Mate, it looks like Harry's about to like behead him or something because Harry's like stood up and then Dobby's just on his knees next to his bed <laughs> it's a really fucking jarring scenario is it is what is it in london yeah 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 it's in like watford uh it's proper sweet to be fair like i know people aren't like like keen on spending money on harry potter but i, I, mate, I got bought for christmas what am i meant to do um and yeah um it, it was... <laughs> what am i meant to do <laughs> oh shit <laughs> mate, I, mean, I didn't buy them um did you get anything from the gift shop Look, it's we spoke about it. It's the millenn- it's like I'm basically a millennial, and it's just the curse that our our breed was given. Mate, Fraser is one geeky boy. What do you expect them to? I'm do? a little neek. The first thing when I was getting up Mike Wazowski rule 34 picks, the first thing that came up was me looking up a RuneScape quest tutorial that I was using the other day. I I am a sad little man stuck in the mid 2000s. But, Not much has changed, but they live underwater. Yeah. Pr- wait, what? Oh yeah, good 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 joke, mate. Good yeah. joke. Just gonna sip my Joe. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna go into 
uh, a certain thing. So basically, Big Andrew Tate, I'm not the one from Red Devils TV, he uh, <laughs> he is, we all know at this point, Giz has been arrested, he's fucking in the slammer. <laughs> he's in there for up to 180 days, and if they can't find anything on him, they'll have to be forced into release. He's again. gone to jail, but he's somehow become more irritating on his, the internet. Mate, see, this is the thing. I want to speak about like a little bit of like the serious stuff, like, oh, he's got cancer and stuff. But like the man on social media recently somehow has been more active. And I know it's not him typing it and stuff. Yeah. He's got a PR guy, or it's just Tristan Tate like desperately like trying to keep the Tate brothers relevant but uh, yeah as you didn't know Andrew Tate went to jail because he's under investigation for like uh, human just some awful yeah. things yeah, just, he's a bad guy <laughs> just some of the most heinous crimes possible he's yeah. been investigated for people thought he got diagnosed with cancer he didn't get diagnosed with cancer he simply had a tumour on his back and according to Big Andy T it's like a tumour that he can deal with or something like that he can now, deal with it he's now, Andy Tate now uh, he's the top G now I don't know if the tumour is hearing him say that and just, just, just giving, he's like rubbing his hands together because to me if you've got a tumour on your back <laughs> that's yeah. quite a worrying thing that's quite he a worrying he went to the doctors and they realised there was a spud and he went well they do call me Andy Taters <laughs> shut up <laughs> oh he mate um, so yeah <laughs> you've really you've really caught me off guard there Andy Taters <laughs> <laughs> Andy Taters <laughs> this is how he earns his money back because he's been out he's been out of action for like 90 days so he's going to release his, his new he's going to move on from Hustlers University and move on to Andy Taters mate I love the tweet where he confirms he doesn't have cancer and it's just him in a mirror and he's just gone yep Here's my leg. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> you could just see like a massive tumor. Just does it look like I got cancer? Does it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you get his leg cancer a real thing? Is that an actual thing that is humanly possible? I think you should um, save any more embarrassment and carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, chaps. Uh, so he's been making a few tweets, and I I thought I'd read them to you because yeah, he's got he doesn't have cancer now. Whether you are sad by that or not, that's up to you to go for uh, fellas that we're not we're not the human cancer deciders here but he made a tweet <laughs> first it's one of my favorite ones he goes i was awoken last night by an icy chill and i identified a ghost in my prison cell he's going fucking mental at this point he's he, like a russian sleep experiment <laughs> he, isn't he? he was terrified and begged me to not annihilate him <laughs> uh, i sent him back to the hell with a message to the demons i am always ready he's he i hate to say it like he has the alex jones thing of where he is funny like he does yeah. he does make me you know he's like a horrific person the, the, the problem is with these horrific people is they're so awful that sometimes <laughs> the things they say are truly hilarious because they're like there's no like um there's no what you okay self self Awareness. Yes, there is no self awareness. <laughs> you you <bell> <laughs> Um Yeah. So um, yeah, there's no self. I I like to believe he's tweeted that, but I also like to believe that like Tristan Tate is like sweating in their little mansion right now. He's just like on his own. They've taken all the furniture. And he's just there with a little mat. They've taken all my taters. <laughs> Can you imagine if they have like Samwise Gamgee accents? So, right, Andy. <laughs> Andy, where's my taters? <laughs> it's on my back. That's... No, you've got lung cancer. <laughs> he goes in. He goes into like his speak to the fucking like the the cancer person patient guy who looks who checks his cancer stuff. And he goes, he goes, and Andy. I think you've got you're you're Andy, and I'm going to be All the right, doctor. I'll be Andy. Okay, uh, Andy. We are uh, sad to let you know that you may actually have some form of lung cancer uh it's quite a difficult scenario and we imagine this will be quite difficult for you to get through why do you think i've got cancer well you have a uh, seeming a lump on your back uh, we've oh got, that uh, yeah we've oh, identified it oh. yeah we've identified it as a tumor Andy. Right. that's a tater <laughs> pardon that's a tater uh andy you are currently in romanian hospital that's a spud <laughs> andy please please can you get back to your asylum now they're my taters <laughs> andy shut the fuck up we're gonna smack you for the potato do you want some of andy's taters and andy andy shut up taters <laughs> he just starts like shaking at the f at, like tater withdrawal syndrome <laughs> mate what if what if the doctor then goes don't worry mate i've got you just get some masher out mashes up the, no, no, the he tater just, spud mate, he just fucking whips out a jacket potato <laughs> and just fucking lobs at it <laughs> <laughs> it's like a frozen one. <laughs> Take your fucking taters of you stupid bell. <laughs> He's been making a few other tweets as well. Uh, my fa my favourite one was Have you <laughs> have many of you genuinely tried to fly? Genuinely. How many of you have researched trained uh, trained and truly tried to fly? None of you, because you think it's impossible. You've never pushed yourself because you believe the goal can never be achieved. You've never even tried. I love the idea that this man like actually jumped off a cliff. <laughs> mate, mate, no, no. Andy, I was testing if there was full damage. Andy Tate is just standing in his cell going. 
<laughs> just like, like yeah, trying to mate, fly. Mate, <laughs> you know when you're a kid and yeah, you, you try, try to fucking see if you've got Spider-Man powers. You're yeah, like you, pelican. You, you, catch, you, know, you catch something like like a, a wild catch. You just try and go like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and they, 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 the Romanian prison guard comes to his like fucking cell. He's got his like, he's like gruel. He passes it through the little tray back. And, and he goes like that. He tries <laughs> to pull it forward like that. And the, t- the fucking bulky Romanian guy's just like, what the fuck what? are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, what? What if Andy Tate pulls it off and we just see him fly out of jail? <laughs> like, Andy Tate is like the next villain in the MCU. It's yeah. that fucking evil Spider-Man. All he can do is fly and he's got, <laughs> and he's got lung cancer. <laughs> Spider-Man with lung cancer. Man's flying cancer. Spider, spider, spider flying man with cancer. That's his... Spider flying man with cancer. But he, he these, the, mate, he goes... Super flying dinosaurs. Yes, he, he, <laughs> he continues uh, and he goes... Um, imagine how much harder some men, men would work if they knew flying was possible. The amount of work effort inspired by witnessing a man train his arms to move so hard and fast that he could fly. There is power in knowing something is possible. I was put on this earth by God himself to show you what is possible. You are not meant to be a slave. I was poorer than you. I was raised on a council estate by a single mother. I made it out. I conquered the internet. I became the top G. They cannot keep me in the South forever my enemies lies are crumbling this is your time to play catch up whatever is he suggesting that he's gonna fucking fly out of the cell like a little bird <laughs> i think that andy tate has got lung cancer because he's been huffing so much jet fuel thinking that if he huffs it it will mean that he can fly they say andy tate's got a, a body modification where he stuck a propeller on his back and he just lies down and he's just waiting for the day that it spins he's like, fast he's like he no he's like the vulture from spider-man yeah. he like he opens up these massive fucking wings and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one day andrew tate is just gonna fly into the sunset and never return that's, that's like the the advert for like mccain's chips but for like tater farms yeah no it's not is it it's andrew tate and he's in a romanian prison cell that you're a sick bastard at this very second he's probably just lying there going what the fuck is going on <laughs> it's like, really th- weird to think that he is actually like a normal human being like yeah. i think this quite a lot i think it's like it's very easy to think that people on the internet just don't exist i feel like the people watching this right now probably think it about us and like anybody they see on the internet i think it's like an easier way to cope with the world to think that andrew tate isn't a real just not an actual person but, yeah. but, but right now that man is like fucking lying on 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 his um on his back probably like slightly upwards because the tumors are just expanding do you think you could hold a conversation with andy tate no, maybe i don't know what would we speak about like do you think even if you went up to andy tate and went oh you're right mate you probably try and smack me. I've made like a 15 I, minute video on him. How do you think he'd like respond to that? If he didn't know who you were, yeah. and a normal person just went up to Andy Tate and went, Yo, mate, how you doing? I think, I think, I mean, I don't, I'd like to imagine he wouldn't, I mean, he, he wouldn't spit in my face or something, would he? Do you like, think he's the kind of guy that would go, You right? I think he'd go, <laughs> You're right, my good pal, or something yeah. like that. Well, he, he speaks in a really strange accent. It's like an American English sort of accent, isn't it? But is he American? He's got the voice of douchebags. Yeah. He's got that voice of a douchebag. Do you, do you think that he's going to get like convicted or anything? Do you reckon like, he's going to actually get... Yeah, I think, I think he's going to get sentenced. See, I don't I think... know, man, because like, he's been in there for a while now, and the reason he's in prison is so he can't leave the country and stuff and escape pretty much. They're building a case against him, and it, when it gets to that 180-day period, if they don't have anything against him, they're, he, they're going to be forced into releasing him. And the whole reason that this cancer thing even became a thing is people are speculating that his like representatives are being like he needs to go to dubai so he can have the, the certain surgery that they've got over in dubai for this tumor that he's got uh, well that's what people have been saying anyway so they've been faking cancer i, I don't yeah I, I i guess that is what people are, are alleging andy that is sick yeah you are that's... andy you are you cannot joke about that sort of thing i don't think he's joking about it mate he's got a tater growing on his back <laughs> imagine if it is just this big fucking big spud big, big spud the dog <laughs> Well, I'll keep you going. You should have some food to eat in Romania, you little prick. Can you imagine if he tweeted this out? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know if he will. I I mean, I'd like to believe, like, they're based on everything. That, like, there has to be, like, I mean, he's admitted to half the stuff on camera. But I guess, like, that isn't, like, the outright evidence because you can't just say stupid. And we say the most criminal shit. If they kept in everything we say on this sofa, yeah. I don't think anyone would like us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we say some messed up stuff, mate. Like, it is truly a harrowing place. We, we, we create every, every week we sit down and we just to, to be fair today we've actually had like, i am i'm proud of us we've had somewhat level articulate do you know what i think we've got a guaranteed episode coming out yes today. we do ladies and gentlemen this is gonna and this is probably gonna be one of our better episodes for yeah, a while it is, it is. Uh, <laughs> but yeah and andy tape 
um i hope you move on from your freakish obsession with jacob potatoes you little weird <laughs> weird gun do you still want to talk about andy tate because i've got a couple of no get okay, do you get like intrusive thoughts where you just get freaked out over I concepts think... of living oh all the time mate absolutely because i was speaking to my mate the other week and he like there's a couple things first of all i find it weird that we are awake every day of our life wait wait sorry what you, do you find that weird well, every day for like 80 or so years, you yeah. are awake. Well, I find the concept that we're asleep for half of our life quite freaky, actually. But yeah. Yeah, because that is quite sad. Like, half of your life, you actually haven't really existed. Because I see most animals, and they just spend most of their time sleeping. But they live a good life, you know what I mean? Like, you got to think, right? A dog doesn't have to go to work and everything. So, like, they kind of get, like, all of our fun life compact into, like, 15 years sort of thing. Yeah. We need to make dogs work 9 to 5. But so I think. just, I really wish humans, as a thing, we, we could get away with being, like... Oh, well, I'm doing my week's hibernation. Imagine if we just, like, sniffed our bum cheeks and... Can you think how incredible you'd feel after a week of sleeping? Oh, yeah, that would be good. I mean, but if we lived like dogs, we'd have to clean our asshole of our mouths and stuff. Like, the other day, Kenji took a dump, and it fu- it didn't fully come out, and he used his mouth to Mate, to get rid of it. I and... clean... You clean mine, I clean yours. Yeah, but that... It's just... A, it, that That's the concept of doghood that I don't want to be a part of. They need to... Re- they fix those I don't issues. think all animals do that. I don't know, man. <laughs> they... Dogs and animals just seem to be love poo wait and what you've got confused here you think that dogs are the only animals that exist mate i i think mufasa after he gave his little speech to wherever they live he just takes out a big shit but it doesn't fully come out so he gets simba to take it out yeah. behind the scenes of lion king they're just all sniffing each other's asses <laughs> they're fucking licking each other's bum holes yeah and uh, they're trying to get him in position and simba's just like running around <laughs> mate, mate fucking scar just lays one out and mufasa inspects it with that's a, what actually ends the war with a little lipstick boner <laughs> that i get <laughs> oh mate that's the worst thing about dogs the little red rockets they get yeah mate oh, disgusting mate, animals. dog boners are maybe one of the like top three worst sides <laughs> their dog bo- dog like dog boners are the reasons to like i want to just get rid of dogs sometimes <laughs> yeah. like there are moments of where i look at kenji and i'm thinking you are just a sad piece of yeah. piece of thing do you reckon they get like post boner clarity <laughs> But but sometimes dogs get it when they go for a poo, and that really yeah. messes me up. That that makes <laughs> that, I I just <laughs> that, that that's the stuff of nightmares, man. Why the fuck does that even happen? That is such a harrowing situation and thought when you witness something like that. Doing a poo can feel nice though. You can't deny that. Yeah, but not like it doesn't turn you on. Oh God, jeez! Don't look at me when I just said like that. When I just said that, sometimes no. When I poo, no. I hold it in and I go and I uh, squeeze it in and out and in and out. Right, we're gonna move on to the last <laughs> topic. Today. Right, um, no, I've got one last question. Okay, go do on. you find it weird that, that your heart never stops beating? Um. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's mental, kinda, isn't it? That is kind of weird, isn't it? Just completely completely goes and like the moment it does stop like pumping you're yeah. fucked yeah yeah because <laughs> even if it starts pumping like 30 seconds later mate your brain is fucking gone brains are such pussies man they can yeah. just die so quickly and i'm like mate why just just hold 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 your breath for a little bit right yeah, like when you when the oxygen starts stops coming in your brain starts see you later geese i'm moving on it's weird like how fragile we are if we stop breathing for a couple minutes we're done yeah <laughs> but, like, we're, and even if we come as they we come back you're just like <laughs> you're like an egg like, yeah <laughs> there's nothing there <laughs> crack you open and you're just fucked <laughs> imagine <laughs> Imagine coming home, right, to your parents, and there's just a boiled egg on the sofa, <laughs> and you're like, mate, "Fuck, mum, stop breathing." Mate, mate, it happened to my stepmom with my husband the other day. My dad, my dad was practically an egg. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's quite messed up you're to like, be fair. Mister Mac, where are you? <laughs> yeah, no. It Looks it's... on the sofa. There's just like a poached egg. <laughs> it's like <laughs> my my dad, sure. mate. He was more of a fucking scrambled egg after Probably, that. Yeah. All right, let's move into the final topic of today, and it is something that we tried to discuss last week, but it just became silly buggers as it always does but we're actually going to give we've given some pretty nuanced takes today so i want to speak about the Unision lawsuit because uh, we've tried i don't know if we tried more than once or twice but uh yeah so uh, last week i told you Unision is being sued by one of the victims and in, in from his past and now he's been sued by another victim and youtube have also been thrown into this lawsuit pretty much the victims are kind of alleging that youtube are responsible because they allowed this man on their platform for like a certain amount of time what do you think about that do you think that's a do you think youtube should take some blame for that or do you reckon it's like a thing of like they did 
because you could say YouTube could have got sued if they removed a man for certain crimes that he hasn't technically been convicted of. Well, can't YouTube just like just for any reason they want not have someone on their platform? Yeah, but they, the platform is so big at this point of like when you do remove people for certain, like if you you do usually have to give a reason, and then if YouTube said like, oh, we're gonna like uh, get rid of you because you've committed this crime, there's no criminal conviction technically. Like in the eyes yeah. of the law, and he's is technically an innocent man. I mean, I know he's had the FBI investigations and been investigated get by Chris Hansen but he's technically in the eyes of the law like, yeah. as much as like that sounds insane an innocent man I guess but yeah he's being sued now and Chris Hansen tweeted James Jackson aka Onision by the way this is something I found out man changed his name from Gregory to James what well, mate if you're going to change your name at least change it to something better than James that's my middle name same here yeah. we've spoken about this before Big up, James. Not you, Gregory. Uh, <laughs> that's quite sad, right? We Maybe we should need to change it something. But maybe we should change our name to Greg. Greg's not that bad of a name. No, I like Greg's as well. Greg, Greg yeah, I've met Greg's are elite. What's your go-to, Greg's? Uh, <laughs> big old steak bake, mate. Do you well, like steak bake? Do yeah. love steak bake. It's nice. It used to be a sort of draw, but I like having a big, like a load of warm meat in my guzzler. Why don't you get an easy on to rearrange your guzzler? He tweeted, Anision is now facing a second federal lawsuit involving a second victim, shocking allegations of SA of a minor, predatory grooming and vicious harassment. J Jackson's spouse and YouTube, also named, will have linked to the lawsuit shortly. And yeah, it's like pretty insane that this is still ongoing. I did a three hour video speaking about the guy recently and it's just crazy to me that like, despite everything, the man still just gets, so he does get away with everything. But it's like, when I did all the research on my iceberg, mate, I've just like, I've spent so long on that video because there is just so is much. Is it on Anisian, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a three hour iceberg on it. I did an Amblin Reed iceberg and then I was like, I'm going to do the big dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the one that everybody, like, because that's like one which, firstly, I know it would do well, but secondly, it's like, there nobody has done an iceberg video on him, so I'm like, I'm just going to do it. All the comments where people say you're obsessed with him, <laughs> it's kind of fair enough. Isn't yeah, it? at this point, it fucking is, mate. But he's quite entertaining, though. It's like that dude that does Chris Chan documentaries I, and there's like 30 hours of like documentary. I think people People have to be obsessed with these people though because i think like if you aren't you just... highlights how terrible they well, are yeah you're gonna literally like to be fair mate if people didn't bring up onision's actions constantly the bloke would get away with it mate you know what you should have you should have like you know the covid track and test app yeah yeah, yeah. right you'll see where i'm going you know yeah. when like you're like close well, to someone that has your stupid you, shit <laughs> you know just when you're close out. to someone that has covid and it pings on your phone yeah for everyone's safety they should have the onision tracker app What's... and if you're within like 100 feet of mate... onision it pops up on your your phone and it's just a picture of you and it's just saying get, get the fuck out of there <laughs> it's, like, get, get, it's just me going get the fuck out get the fuck yeah. out. you know like in you know like a pokedex when it's got that little robotic voice in like the old anime yeah it's, it's just me going get the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> but to me i yeah again i do think it's right to speak about these people and uh, to be fair I've, i this is a man that i've covered from my very beginning so i feel like i almost have like an attachment to the case now and the moment the man goes to prison or something like i will be at peace but it's like every day he still does shit and now it's coming into this criminal cases and i'm glad it's come to this because i feel like he's kind of gotten away with so many things purely out of like meme culture meme culture has helped so many terrible people just get away with their actions do you think it's a good payoff though what do you mean we get to laugh at him in, oh i i think <laughs> it's fine to don't get me wrong i do think it's fine to take the piss but you still got to acknowledge like the guy is a bad bloke like with snapshot eye as i said before you can laugh at him and take the piss but you should also be like oh by the way he is an actual like terrible bloke yeah but i think a lot of people get away with doing terrible things i don't think it's just the fact that he's famous i think it's the american justice system yeah. to be honest with you i think it's more of like a systemic issue i don't get it because he's admitted to these things he's admitted to crossing state lines i found a tweet the during my iceberg and it was like but greg in like 2020 made a tweet being like everyone's calling me this or something it's like this i'm, I'm paraphrasing how he goes but the only underage person i've interacted with romantically was years ago and that's the person that i'm now married to and i'm like mate that doesn't make it any better that's just an indication that you groomed your fucking yeah partner. i yeah i hate shit like that he is an absolutely abhorrent guy for a multitude of reasons and i'm, yeah. gl I'm, I'm glad this is happening pretty much yeah, it's a bit like in hollywood when like when they they meet someone when they're underage and then they become of age and then they like get together that's exactly what he does yeah. like he's like he's like 30 and interacting with like 18 year olds but there have also been 17 year olds and stuff in this situation like the main person suing him now he met 
met when I believe they were 17 or if not younger. He met his uh, current um, partner who he's married to when they were like, I don't know, 16, 17, traveled across yeah. state lines with these people. If people do wonder why I cover him, it's because like there is so much insane shit. Yeah. And I'm like, how has he gotten away with this? Because like, even James Charles, man did one thing and he's out sort of thing. I mean, I know he's still got a platform, yeah. but like he's regarded. The thing the thing I've realized during this podcast where we talk about Nishan quite a bit, yeah. is most people have like one like m- major story about him. But Anision is just like, it goes, and then there's another one, and then and there's, there's another, another story. One. This is the thing, when, again, during the iceberg, you'd think, as a man that has covered this guy for like five years now, I'd know everything. Yeah. Mate, 90, I promise you, 90% of the stuff I did not know. He has ran an actual cult called Sikeska since 2004. <laughs> the, yeah, mate, mate, it's insane. He's run a cult since 2004, where he used to go into like threads and like try and convince like Catholics to become <laughs> become a part of the Sikeska religion. And when you go and look at the definition of what his religion is, he's like, it's a combination of every major religion's best points that I've mixed it into one. <laughs> so the bloke's got into like a fucking local corner shop, got into the pick and mix section. He's got a bit of Islam, bit of Judaism, shove it in a little bag, shake it around, <laughs> and he's fucking walked out the shop. That was a weird, weird thought you've put in my head. What, going into... Uh, just, like, getting a little scoop and getting a load of, like, little Bibles and putting them in the <laughs> yeah, bag. A little Quran. <laughs> a little Quran. <laughs> Bro, I don't, what's the... Is, did, what did, what's the Judaism book called again? I don't, I don't know what it's called. Is there a book in Judaism? Don't know. Yeah, don't I'm know. sorry. That's not me being insulting. That's just me being, like, unaware. Ignorant. Yeah, it is. It, no, it is religious ignorance, my friend. Um, but, yeah, no, the man is, like, genuinely insane. And I don't know about YouTube being involved. I guess you could say, though, like, in 2016, when he was getting a million views a video or around that, he was doing videos of where he'd be like, come onto my forum and post a photo of yourself and I'll rate your body. And, like... There were like 15 year olds submitting their bodies and he would rate them in YouTube videos with millions of views. And like YouTube were comfortable with that. And you could say that they- God, that's how it is. Yeah, <laughs> mate, and this is exactly why I say I cover this guy because he's genuinely insane. As if he's like openly that creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, I mean, but <laughs> it's so fucked, isn't it? It's such a messed up world. The first major creator to call him out was, I mean, I, I know Repsion's been calling him out. I don't even know who that is, but there's Leafy was actually the first guy that kind of broke the iceberg. Was he? Yeah, man. And like that man, like, if there's one good thing that he did, it was starting the conversation that Onision is an absolute freak. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the fact that up until like 2020, the bloke was actually responding to exposed videos, just calling them nonsense. When it's like, you've admitted to all of this stuff. Like, you yeah. are just a terrible, terrible person. But I think my favorite, to, to kind of end this part, because I mainly want to say he's being sued. And I, I don't think you two, I think you two can and cannot take some level of responsibility. I can understand them being involved in the lawsuit because they did allow him on the platform and he's still on the platform to this day. Yeah. Uh, but again, you have to say, maybe it's for a legal reason. It's clear that they've hit his channel on the algorithm perspective. He doesn't get views anymore because they've taken him out of the algorithm completely, shadow banned and stuff. So I think that's like the legal way of what they've done. So maybe that's like a more of a- but It feels like unless he like fully violates some sort of terms of service, they won't take his channel though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was in the ad program until like 2021, which is just insane like 2020 or 2020 one of the years but like either one like that man was being accused of the most horrific shit like seven years ago like he was uploading videos in he uploaded two videos in 2010 of his ex having a mental breakdown and it was so bad that she forgot who he was and he recorded it uploaded it onto his channel with a video titled shiloh forgot me and this bloke called repsion who's been covering him for years he's like the og for calling out anision he made a video responding to it it's got like 20,000 dislikes because people back then fucking love this guy which is mental mate i would love it if it got to the point where you forget who anision is oh, because mate. you've covered him so much i said it, i literally said in my video i was like at the end then i was like i need to spend my hours doing better, better things in my <laughs> yeah. life but if, if i could i literally at the beginning of my video as well i'm like if you don't know who this guy is just fucking click off. <laughs> I'm like, mate, just get out. It'll be worth it though when, when we're on YouTube Rewind 2023 and it's I, me, you and Anision and we're just taking it in turns to slap his head like that. <laughs> Do you know he's actually like really small? Like, I'm not being, is high, he? I'm not being heightest, man. Do you think but, you could bongo his head like that? He, he is, he's a small, small little man. Do you want me to show you? Like, I, I, is I, it him in Astros? No, no, you always show me it's, that no, 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 it's not the Astros. You, you've never seen him, the, it's, it's the height. Hold on. You see what I mean there? Yeah, he's, he's, he must be like, what, five, seven, five, Yeah, I, I, I don't know why, I just didn't expect it. But um, I think what I was going to say just now to end this sort of segment is my favourite um, Anision law is when he called up the police and he said, help, somebody is stalking me at my door 
and they said and they asked him if they knew who the stalker is and he said yes it, it, it's chris hansen <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm like mate can you imagine a police officer just like hearing that they're being fucking stalked by chris <laughs> hansen that's never a good sign when chris hansen turn up at your doorstep yeah and- you're kind of like um self-admitting yourself <laughs> down, I, I, I i genuinely i respect the balls of chris hansen just to turn up to anisio's yeah. doorstep and be like let's have a conversation that's all he did he was like let's have a chat and he didn't talk to him and he said like just hid inside his, his house and called the police on him it's quite a funny thought on ECN just sitting in his like wardrobe or something just, like, just like fucking Chris Hansen's outside like two days before that his daughter fell out of the window and he whipped out a camera and recorded it it's really <laughs> yeah it's on a police report we've, I think we've actually mentioned this before I it, fully rate that from you on ECN it's quite funny his actually. daughter fell out the window and he whacked out the camera and bearing in mind his daughter's like seven years old yeah, at this went, point prank nation <laughs> <laughs> I, that's the guys let's fucking get us on vine <laughs> uh but yeah either way i'm gonna say i hope the lawsuit actually like finally this man gets just loses everything like he doesn't like he doesn't deserve anything but well, prison to be cell. fair mate if he's got a video of his seven-year-old kid falling out the window he's gonna get 250 pounds from yipping friend <laughs> so. harry hill just like harry hill sends him a check when he's in prison he's like, <laughs> look at this it's an easy one <laughs> <laughs> that's so sick <laughs> that, that is one of the, <laughs> Harry Hill covering an Anision on, on, t- on TV Burp is one of the most <laughs> fucking messed up thoughts TV anyway. highlight <laughs> of the week it's an Anision standing in court with Astros on it's <laughs> oh, so sick they get him on You've Been Framed. Is it You've Been Framed? Which one is it? Because it's TV Burp and it's You've Been Framed. So you, you, yeah, he does both. He goes, yeah. You get an ECN on both of them. You can do a multitude of things there. Um, but, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, either way, I'm going to end this by saying... We're, st- we're, st- we're going to stick this topic in the onion bag by saying, carry on. Get 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 him on You've Been Framed and get him on TV Burp and I'll be a happy man. And also, I hope he goes to jail. But um, yeah, this has been another episode of You've Been Framed. Uh, have you enjoyed yourself today, my friend? It's been good. It's been a proper conversation. We've actually I had like. a good episode. I feel this yeah. is like, I know we say it every week, but in terms of an actual fucking podcast, this has probably been like our be- one of our best. Yeah, it's been better. We're, we've stopped the silliness for one episode. We've still kept a bit of silly yeah. content in there. Which is what mean, we do. That. Fraser showed me um, Mike Wazowski. Olaf and Mike Wazowski <laughs> just absolutely going at it. Yeah, um, so uh, that's one sick, sick fucking thought that yeah. I, I never want to see that again. Um, I should probably delete that off my iPad because <laughs> what if I pass? Let's say I go home and pass it over, pass a video over to man, my nan, and she accidentally fucking falls over, smacks her head against the table, turns it, it goes into another tap, tap by accident. I didn't need to say the head table bit, but she just basically, I'm saying she slips over. She'll start rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Get out of my flat. Get out of my pub. Mate, you <laughs> you can't pub. say that about my nan. <laughs> I'm going to have to mute the word wise. Um, so people don't know who I'm talking about there because that is just. What did I say that was wrong? <laughs> you said my nan is. Can you stop king? Do you know what? Whoever drew that picture, I hope they go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope they die. <laughs> now I'm going to end this episode by saying thank you very much for watching it. Please subscribe and also follow us on Reddit. Um, I, I think it's r slash the buddies podcast on Reddit. Uh, Twitter, it's in the description. Instagram in the description. TikTok, all in the description. You got anything else to say? Any final? Uh, yeah, please add me on Club Penguin. Yep. And please um, keep it cheeky, keep it freaky, and also keep it sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> That's it later. Peace. Tits.